This video is brought to you by Steve Magus, the bike lawyer. As an avid cyclist and trial lawyer, Steve has handled more than 450 cases in which cyclists were injured or killed. He has also worked with nonprofit bicycle advocacy groups locally and nationally. You can read about Steve's unique bike law practice at www.ohiobikelawyer.com. Boondoggle Bike Events got started in 2017. Uh, we hosted a race at Levi Jackson State Park. And I was trying to come up with a name that was kind of tied in with Kentucky. And I thought of Daniel Boone. And I'd always heard the phrase boondoggle. Know what boondoggle meant. A lot of people don't know what it meant. Boondoggle is a project that has the image, a perception of being important or needy. But in reality, it's a waste of time and means nothing. And think about it, how many times do we enter a bike race or any form of competition and it's the most important thing in our life at that moment, but in reality, it don't mean nothing. Boondoggle bike events host races that are, I bill them as mountain bike races, but a lot of people ride gravel bikes. For this area, we don't have a real big network of continuous single tracks. So if you put on a big race that covers a large area, you've got to use trail, we use a little black top, and we use gravel. XCM stands for uh, cross country but a longer distance marathon. And uh, it varies anywhere from 30 miles to 60 miles. And the reason why we do those races is if you travel from out of state two or three hours, you want to come and do more than an hour or an hour and a half. You want to come and make a day out of it. This year we're hosting three races in the Boondoggle Series. The first one will be at Laurel Lake, the 45. The next one will be at Cave Run, Moorhead, is called the Lockagee. And the final one is the Kentucky Gravel Championships that is held in Jackson County. The number of riders we typically have, at the 45 2019, we had 153. At the Kentucky Gravel Championship, we had 80, which that area, not, not, not that many people had rode, but I believe we'll have a whole lot more this year, 2020. The race at Moorhead Lockagee, we've never been there. And it's on a course that it was, had been used before for a cross country race. So I believe we'll have very good turnout there also. Sword Drink Mix gives us a drink mix for our aid station. The guy that owns it, Scott, uh, is a East, Southeast Kentucky feller too. I've got a group of volunteers and they've been with me from day one. And they are excellent. And I've helped at aid stations a couple times. If, to me, if you volunteer for a race, that's where all the action is. Man, I, I can't thank the, my volunteers enough. I, you know, everybody compliments us on our aid station. To me, that, that's the biggest thing. People want to get in and out. They want, you know, they want service. And I want to offer that. What we usually offer with your race entry fee, we usually offer a t-shirt and uh, we're going to offer a meal a post-race meal with every race this year. Everything extra that you add to an event is going to increase the cost and we just want to keep cost low. The first race of the series is the 45 and the reason it's 45 is it's a 45 mile race. But the original name came from a lot of people may remember the 45 record. It was economical. You, you got what you paid for. You got that song on A side, you got that song on B side. And that was my whole theory behind the race. Economical, and you get what you want. It starts out with on the trail around the Laurel Lake, and then it goes into Whitley County on the blacktop, and you do a gravel loop, and do that loop, and pretty much come back the way you went in. People really like the lake trail, and then you've got a, a five mile section of pavement, and then you do gravel. You, you get all these things together. Uh, the second race of the series will be at Moorhead Cave Run, uh, the name of it is the Lockagee, and I tried to, when I name my races, I try to give it a unique name, and the Lockagee is a big rock formation that's in the Cave Run area. The race will be uh, two loops of a loop that everyone rides most of the time that they go there. It's a 20 some mile loop, 21, 22 mile loop, and we'll be doing two loops of it. I think the Lockagee will pretty much primarily be a mountain bike race. The third race of the series is the Kentucky Gravel Championships. 
The headquarters of the race is Flat Lick Falls in Greyhound, Kentucky. We leave from there. It's a 63 mile race. It's a very unique race. I started out calling it Kentucky Gravel Championship because nobody had the name. I might as well take it. We come to find out after a lot of people had rode it, I started hearing the term enhanced gravel. And I had never heard that. Enhanced gravel is like rough gravel. And so I thought, that's not enhanced gravel, that's Kentucky gravel. <laughs> it's also a race that a lot of people ride gravel bikes and a lot of people ride mountain bikes. A lot of people that got back that rode gravel bikes said, I'm riding my mountain bike next time. But some enjoyed the cross bike or gravel bike. There's not a whole lot of trail on it, but it's a lot of gravel and there's some very rough gravel sections that's dirt, gravel, rock. So I, I wouldn't want to ride a gravel bike, but everybody's different. Our registration process is uh, we, for a short period of time, we offered what I call a season pass. That was all three races, but that deadline is passed. But we use bike bridge and you register for each race individually. The cost for each race, now the 45 is a little cheaper because you know, you can't have the 45 and charge 55. <laughs> so we're keeping entry fee 45, the race is 45 miles. We keep it, you know, like that. But the other races will be uh, 50 to 55. The Boondoggle race series is a race series. But for this year, we are offering shorter distances for each race. For the 45, we're offering a 15 mile option, which is primarily for the youth. We're doing youth races to help promote youth racing in Kentucky. And the Laka G is gonna have a, a, a short distance. We'll be doing the big race, two loops. So obviously, a shorter route will be one loop. Uh, the Kentucky Gravel Championships will offer a shorter distance also. So if you don't feel like racing, you know, 40 miles or 60 miles, we're gonna have options that are half that. Our prize, our prizes can be unique. Uh, at the Kentucky Gravel Championships, the lady who's over the tourism there went to the a rock quarry in uh, Clover Bottom, which is in Jackson County, and got some, you know, eh, rock, and we hung little tags on them with a, a little leather strap and a, a metal tag, you know, saying Kentucky Gravel Championships. Wh whatever we offer, I try to make it something unique. At the 45, we take the men's winner and the women's winner. Now, they won the race, but now they ain't really the champion. So we take those two people, men's open winner, women's open winner, and then we take the winner of another class, which is the first one to cross the finish line of all the other classes. We take three people, and they go to the grand finals. Now, the grand finals is something totally non-bike specific. The first time we ever done it, it was an apple bobbin contest. Uh, last year at the 45, it was a free throw shooting contest. And the prize for it was a championship belt, like boxing or wrestling. For this year's grand final, well, I'm not gonna say what it is. It's like the recipe for Coke and Kentucky Fried Chicken. If something happens to me, there ain't nobody gonna know what to do because I'm the only person who knows what the grand finals is gonna be. <laughs> I started Boondoggle Bike Events is I, I felt like in the state of Kentucky there was a need for it. We have great places to ride, especially the area here, Southeast Kentucky. I wanted to get people from Ohio, Tennessee, Lexington, Louisville to come and say, this is what we got. And then in turn, I wanted to offer a grassroots race where you come, you have a fun course, and when you sign up, you don't feel like, I can't believe I paid that much to race. And, and that's the whole thing. I want everybody to leave and say, that was a fun race. The guy that wins and the guy that finishes last to me is just important because they both paid entry fee and they both came for a good time. And if you look at any form of racing, where's your largest group? It's the slow guys. <laughs> So my race, I want to cater to everybody. Joe Slow or Joe Speedy. I want you to leave with a smile on your face. And that was the whole reason to starting this. Thanks again to Keith for taking time with me to sit down and share information about the 2020 Boondoggle XCM Race Series. 
To receive updates, be sure to join the Boondoggle Bike Events Facebook group at the URL above. If you found this information useful, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and share the video with your friends. Thanks.